Eagles. Now let's move on and talk about football now. And um, yeah, the season is ended, um, but a lot of clubs, a lot of these clubs are on their post-season uh, tour. Uh, it's a bit uh, similar to what they do uh, before the season starts, uh, pre-season. But this is the post-season tour. Uh, Liverpool uh, travelled all the way to Australia to play against Sydney FC. Um, so see, all these clubs are doing these things for commercial reasons. I of mean, course. there's no uh, two ways uh, to uh, describe what's going on here. Okay, Liverpool went to Australia, a uh, very long flight. Uh, the coach, uh, Jürgen Klopp, you know, uh, has complained uh, about that, but he didn't have a choice, really. He was helpless in the situation. They went, they saw and conquered 3-0. Uh, uh, so, but... <laughs> right now, it's all about next season for Liverpool. Yes, that's it. They came fourth. Okay, that's the Champions League sports. Okay, they're going to the playoffs. They're not even assured of going into the group stage yet. So there's still a lot that needs to be done uh, with that Liverpool squad. And Jurgen Klopp has been saying we have to address that situation in the transfer window. Yeah, definitely. And also complaining about the tiredness of having to yeah. travel such a long trip. I think they really have to, you know, because he needs to, like, bring in new players before the preseason starts. And the players need to get used to playing, you know, with other players and mm. all. So this preseason tour would definitely help them. But as you said, this one's for professional players. Uh, uh, commercial, commercial purpose and all that. Yeah. That's why you have some of their other former players like Steven I mean, Gerrard and all, you yeah, know, coming in and all, just playing. Carragher. I think more like a link with the marking of 126 years of mm. the, you know, the his world disaster and all that. More like, you know, putting everything together. But then, at the end of the day, Liverpool are doing something fantastically well. Yeah, I mean, they won the game 3-0, but the result is not what really matters okay. here. And um, uh, Jürgen Klopp is already looking at it next season, and he's basically saying uh, we need to make some very good signings uh, in the transfer window. Actually, how we will come in this game, because it was really, even for me, I never did it. 20 flight, pretty much 24 hours, going to hotel, I mean, they had nothing really to do, so you get tired or not, some of us try to sleep and then you come here and drive another 145 or something from the hotel to the... It was the most intense football trip for a away game I ever had, so and I, had no idea, I, know I, I had no idea how the players would do it and then I was surprised how obviously they enjoyed the game. The best scenario is always you have them at the start of the preseason, I'm not sure if it will happen this, this time um, in all the different, with all different players, so we will see. Um, but um, that's not even not a big problem because we, I'm really, you all know, we, if we, we are fit and, and healthy, our players, and we have already a really strong squad. So, and um, that means we, we could or we could even start with the squad and bring in the players later. But that doesn't mean that I would prefer this. I would love to have them as soon as possible in, but we will see when it will be. The second balls after, if you want, after after set pieces, another defensive midfielder will not really be around this situation, so that doesn't help a lot. Um, half spaces after when counter pressing doesn't work. Another defensive midfield player, that's not about this, that's all about organization. But we did already much better in the last few games, so that's how it is. And we've improved around set piece a lot. Liverpool manager Jürgen Klopp already looking at the next season where uh, Liverpool will be expected to compete um, for the UEFA Champions League as well as the English Premier League, which they have never won uh, before. Um, from Liverpool, let's come back and talk about Nigerian football now. And Rivers United uh, yesterday uh, got their first win in the CAF Confederation Cup, and it uh, was a 1 0 win over FUS Rabat Cecilia crucial crucial win there and they have three points now just like the other teams in the group and you would say um they all have equal chances of making it uh to the next round yeah that's the way it is because uh, emeka atuloma was mm. the one who scored that decisive goal in 19 minutes from the end yes. you know i felt okay this might just be uh, a good one for rivers united thinking they might score oh, one more you know on. but you know they just yeah. by a long goal. but then the good thing is all of them are on three points three and rivers points. united they know what to do ojobo uh, when he fell i hope that injury wasn't that serious but they actually continue with the game so you know that okay rivers united well I really don't know how they will be able to do this. Do because that. I was thinking if you're playing at home, 
you take your chances. Club African did it. I mean, they were beating 3-0. Yes. But the same Club African were shocked by a Uganda side. Uh, we talked about you can, that, that uh, case, Kampala, Kampala yeah. how, you know, how good they are. Home ground, you know, they've won how many Uganda league titles now. Okay, that's the, the fact goal that there. they just won there, that's what goes there the goal. from Emeka. And, you know, he was like, I, 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 the way they were jubilating that if the final whistle was on. So the user yeah, of actually on, celebrate it's, that it's, long goal. But then keep it in check, pick the ball up and just continue with it. And maybe the second goal might just come. But mm. just didn't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but they, I mean, Cecilia, I think you've been a bit too hard on um, on Rivers uh, United. Uh, remember, this is the first time in the competition, it's the debut, yeah, really. Remember, we're told that this team was built for, for the, the Champions, Champions League. Obviously, obviously they if were not good enough. Down, then still, you just have to beat your opponent very well. Okay, that was you just put that ball in right on the line there, and um, yeah, easy tapping, easiest goal who score in his career. But they all count. So, uh, congratulations to Rivers United. Hopefully, uh, they can build on this victory uh, going forward. So, yep. that's it for the CAF Confederation Cup. Uh, when it's going to break now, when we come back, it's all, it will be about the Channels National Kids Cup.